Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen with another JavaScript journey. Today we are going to tackle a fascinating coding problem, finding the path with maximum probability in graph. We will explore the world of graph theory, probability and algorithm. So let's dive in. So our task is to find the path with the maximum probability of success between two nodes in a graph. Each uh, edge has a probability of traversing it successfully. And our goal is to get from start node to the end node with maximum success probability. If there are no path, we return zero as zero probability. So we have a Python solution here uh, that uses uh, Dijkstra algorithm with a twist. So it was uh, mentioned previously. And instead of uh, finding the shortest path, we will be uh, tackling path with maximum probability. So it's a cool use of negative log transformation to convert the max product problem into a minimum sum problem. So our task is to uh, do it in JavaScript this time. So uh, first thing first, we need uh, a priority queue to solve this problem using Dijkstra algorithm. So, uh, but uh, does JavaScript have a built-in priority queue? Q. So unfortunately not, but uh, don't worry. We have the data struct JS library that is uh, pre-imported in lit code. So uh, our disposal, uh, which provides a neat priority queue implementation. So let's uh, leverage that as well. So uh, now we can start coding our solution and I will explain everything right away. So const graph will be new array of n and fill zero and map as array and const distance will be new array n fill infinity and distance start will be zero distance and for let i zero less than h length increment so const x, y as h, i, and const probability minus math logarithmic success probability of i, h. So uh, graph x push y, p, and graph y push x, p, because it could be uh, both direction. So p, q will be new priority q and compare a, b, a priority minus b priority and p, q and q value start priority zero and while not p, q, so it's empty. So we have a priority q const value will be node of priority d and pq dq and if d greater than distance of infinity previously addressed we continue so if node is equal to end we return the math of exponential minus d so uh, return back and for constant neighbors d2 of graph node so if d plus d2 less than distinct of neighbors, distinct neighbors plus d2 and pq and q will be value neighbors priority distinct neighbors. And yeah, so if we traverse here and nothing left, so we return zero probability. So there you have it. Let's run to see if it's working. Uh, so for those quite simple basic cases, so yeah, it's working. So let's go with uh, explanation uh, here. So now we can start uh, explaining. First, we will uh, import the priority queue. So then we create an adjacent list from our uh, graph uh, edges and the negative logarithm of the successful probability to keep track of the uh, Dijkstra. So we will initialize a distance array where distance i, 
denote the highest probability to reach node i from the start node. Initially, all uh, distances are infinity, except for the start node, which is zero. Then we start the main loop of the algorithm. So we keep uh, picking the node with the highest probability, so smallest minus log value, and update all its neighbor with new maximum probability. We do this until we have proceed all nodes of uh, it, and we have reached the end node. So finally, uh, if we reach the end node, we return the highest probability to reach uh, the end node. If not, uh, it means that there is no path from the start to end, so we finally return zero. So let's test our solution now for unseen test cases as well. Uh, I'm running it, so hopefully it will pass and will be quite efficient. So yeah, we beat 70%, uh, 71% with respect to runtime and also 71% with respect to memory. So, and voila, our test have passed. And as you can see, JavaScript has its way to tackle problem efficiently, even when we are missing some built-in uh, functionality. So that's it for today, coding adventure. So stay tuned for more interesting problems. And remember, coding is not just about getting the correct output. It's about making you thoughts run in the right direction. So stay motivated, happy coding. See you next time.